Let's have calc any to this problem, and it wants us to find the cross product and verify that it's orthogonal to both A and B. So what a cross product gives you is you take two vectors, and it'll find a line that is parallel to, or perpendicular, orthogonal to both of them. So two lines will make a plane when they intersect always, and what the cross product does is it makes a line that's, per or that's perpendicular to that yes indeed. All right, so it makes sense that both A and B would be orthogonal to it. So we're gonna prove that, but first we have to find it. So what is A cross B? Well, we set up a determinant to prove that. A cross with B is the determinant. So it's gonna be, uh, we're gonna set up I, J, and K on the top. So on the inside, so our first value for I is T. Our next is cosine of T. And our next one is sine of T. And then on the bottom, we just have nothing for I, so it's gonna be one minus sine of T and then cosine of t. Right, all right, now how do we solve this? Well, if you guys know how to do a cross product, you take the first one here and you go down, and then it's gonna be these two multiplied by each other, subtracted by these two multiplied by each other. And then for j, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna take the two that are not on it, so it's gonna be t multiplied by cosine of t minus one times sine of t. And then k is gonna be t times negative sine of t minus one times cosine of t. So what this is going to look like, we're going to have cosine, so let's, let's put it in a parentheses, cosine squared of t, cosine squared, minus negative sine of t times sine of t, which is sine squared of t. Right, that's our i value. Our j value is negative always. All right, so j, it's going to be minus, basically all of this, t cosine of t minus sine of t. And then our k value is going to be negative t uh, sine of t minus cosine of t. And this is what we got. Uh, we can make this a little bit easier to read by making this a plus sign instead. And that's our cross product. Uh, we can simplify this a little bit. If you know uh, some trig identities, you know that cosine squared of t times sine, or plus sine squared of t is just equal to one. This is one. This is negative t cosine t plus sine of t. And this becomes negative t sine t minus cosine of t. All right, so now we're gonna prove that a is orthogonal to a and b. Now, we can't use cross products to prove this. What we can choose is dot products. What we know about dot products is that if two lines are orthogonal, it's gonna be equal to zero when they dot product them. So, and theoretically, A cross B should be orthogonal to A. So, if you do A dotted with A, or A X B, we're going to get, uh, so it's going to be T times 1, uh, that's going to be plus cosine of T times negative T, so negative T cosine squared of T plus sine of t, cosine of t, and then over here, it's gonna be minus t sine squared of t, uh, minus sine of t, cosine of t, right? All right, let's see, how do we simplify this? Well, instantly I'm saying that this is a negative sine squared of t, t, this is also a negative sine squared, cosine of t of t. We know that sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t is so if you bring out a negative t, this is just gonna be one, so we're gonna end up with t minus t. And then we have a sine of t, cosine of t, minus sine of t, cosine of t, that's gonna be zero, and t minus t is equal to zero. Boom, pretty cool, right? So this should always be true for any vector you do. If it's not true, you probably messed up somewhere and you need to resolve it. But this is a good way to check your answers if you really wanna be sure about your answer. Uh, do a dot product and see if it's orthogonal. And if it is, it's good. So yeah, good luck in your calc homework.